Hey guys, so I have something I'm gonna show you in just a couple moments that I have recorded and it's gonna be a couple minutes long. I'm going to put a little caveat in here that it may seem a little off compared to some of the things I talk about. Um, I've had a calling in my, in my heart to share this. Um, so I'm going to. And it's really about understanding what's really going on at a deeper level to protect our consciousness, to protect the essence of who we are. And it really falls in line with what I'm sharing about activating our DNA. How do we keep it above 30% and all of this, it kind of all falls into place. So I just wanted to give a little, little warning here that um, it may be something that you may not want to hear, or it may be something that you don't resonate with, but I want to just give you that opportunity to, um, you know, just flip through and, and just keep on scrolling. Millions of people trust the Facebook algorithm to tell us what is new. The Google algorithm tells us what is true. In the not so distant future, similar algorithms might tell us where to work and whom to marry and also decide whether to hire us for a job, whether to give us a loan. And since the limited human brain lacks sufficient biological knowledge, computing power and data, humans will simply not be able to understand the computer's decisions. So even in supposedly free countries, humans are likely to lose control over our own lives and also lose the ability to understand public policy. Now, we humans are used to thinking about life as a drama of decision-making. What will be the meaning of human life when most decisions are taken by algorithms? We don't even have philosophical models to understand such an existence. The usual bargain between philosophers and politicians is that philosophers have a lot of fanciful ideas and politicians patiently explain that they lack the means to implement these ideas. Now we are in an opposite situation. We are facing philosophical bankruptcy, politics and philosophy, but also our biology. In the coming decades, AI and biotechnology will give us godlike abilities to re-engineer life and even to create completely new life forms. After four billion years of organic life shaped by natural selection, we are about to enter a new era of inorganic life shaped by intelligent design. Our intelligent design is going to be the new driving force of the evolution of life. And in using our new divine powers of creation, we might make mistakes on a cosmic scale. In particular, Governments, corporations, and armies are likely to use technology to enhance human skills that they need, like intelligence and discipline, while neglecting other human skills, like compassion, artistic sensitivity, and spirituality. The result might be a race of humans who are very intelligent and very disciplined, but lack compassion, lack artistic sensitivity, and lack spiritual depth. Cinemax. And Cinemix is spelled S-E-N-O-M-Y-X. S-E-N-O-M-Y-X. And all of you listening can go to StopTheCrime.net, type that in our search bar, and you will find this information. It's very startling. You're going to see photographs that are going to be very, very disturbing. But more importantly, you're not going to want to eat this. Okay? So we're going to talk about what this is. Um, there's a list of companies falls under ordinary business operations. So we're going to talk about uh, a list of products. You should not be consuming these products. Um, all soft drinks and Pepsi. All drinks Sierra Mist. All drinks Mountain Dew. All in beer mug root beer and Pepsi. Drinks of no fear. Um, Ocean Spray, Seattle's Best Coffee, all brands of energy drinks, all brands, Aquafina Water, Double Shot, some of the fa fa Frappuccinos, Gatorade, they go on, Tropicana, all products of Nestle, including coffee creamers, instant soups, bouillon cubes, ketchup, sauces, instant noodles, etc., Bubblegum, Chiclets, Clarets, Dentine, um, Trident. There's many other lists of gums as well. You need to, to 
to look at this for yourself. They talk about Cadbury Adams candies, and they mention the original gummies and many other Cadbury um, candies as well. Certs and Halls cough drops. The company produces, uh, there are also companies that produce anti-wrinkle creams containing the cells of aborted babies as well, of 14 weeks gestation. And there's a list of the creams that we need to understand have the aborted fetal tissue in it as well. So I can only say, Sean, we do not have a government. We are being literally fried, cooked by these frequencies. It's like being in a microwave oven. We need to understand how they're going to do away with mass populations in the United States through resilient cities and the words um, infrastructure changes after weather weapon assaults. This is what they're doing. Again, they're deploying cameras all over. They plan them in all the states with infrared, as I said earlier, to track and monitor our movements in real time, 24-7, 365. And I liken this to a deadly video game gone live. 